Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Ruin Banter! Today we have a very, very, very special guest, a fourth year senior, Miss Michaela Gerber. Hi! Hello! Hi. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me. Did you have fun on Sunday? Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Polly was packed. How many did we have? Guys, we had over 12,500 people. Wow. It Way was like to go Bruin fans. You guys are amazing. <laughs> it was the most energetic stadium I've ever been in. and in my, all my four years. It was Did fantastic. Did it help you when you competed? Um, I don't really notice the crowd when I compete. Um, I think I heard them a little bit and that was really, really fun because I don't mm -hmm. normally hear. It was just so much fun and I was just so excited to be competing again that... Wait, we're gonna ask you a couple questions afterwards about okay. that, but <laughs> let's go back and do a meet recap. So first, the Bruins started off on vault and Miss Kyla Ross got her fifth vault win of the season, so congratulations to you, Kyla. And then moving on to bars, we had some very nice hit routines. Super clean, super smooth, some stuck landings here and there. But the highlights were definitely Miss Peng Peng Lee. Thanks, guys. 9.975. <laughs> One judge gave her a 10. So we so already know close. she's going to get that 10. How did you feel? Oh my gosh, it was incredible just because after Kyla went, she got a 9.975. I felt so energized and so amped up. And the crowd just, I felt all of their energy onto me when I was doing my bar routine. And my parents were in the crowd too, so they Aww. were excited. And another highlight, as Peng said, was Kyla Ross's 9.975 as well. So congratulations to Miss Kyla and Miss Peng. Next, the Bruins moved on to Beam, and there were three big highlights of the meet. Literally the first, because <laughs> she's Beam leadoff, <laughs> was Miss Michaela Gerber's return to Beam after being out for a couple weeks with an injury. How did it feel? It was incredible. Um, I missed competing so much, having you know just broken my toe in Utah and having to come back from that. I was just so happy to be back and so excited to be back and there for you guys. I love leading and off. Can you talk a little bit about what happened? I know what happened <laughs> to your toe, but <laughs> for people who don't know. All the flights were canceled to Utah, and so 16 people got to go on the charter jet to Utah, and then seven of us got stuck on a bus <laughs> to Palm Springs, and it was just this crazy trip. Ended up not getting a flight until the next morning, and I think I got three hours of sleep. We competed at 8 p.m. that night. Despite the lack of sleep, I might have been a little bit delirious, but I was having fun, and you know, we headed to Beam, and I was feeling really, really positive and really good, and I just didn't push sideways enough on my dismount and smacked my foot on the beam and broke my toe. Aside from mix awesome comeback. We also had a highlight of Peng Peng Lee once again hitting a 9.975 for the Bruins on the beam. <laughs> Suck that dismount. A judge gave her a 10 and a judge gave her a 995 but we already know a 10 is in Peng's future on the beam as well. And then the final highlight of the beam rotation was Miss Kaylin Ohashi hitting a perfect Yay! 10. She's in here right now, actually. <laughs> Do you want to make a little cameo? Here <laughs> we Congrats, Caitlin, on that 10. You're amazing, Caitlin. Caitlin definitely deserved that 10. She has one of the most oh difficult God. routines in the NCAA in probably the world. So, like, I don't know how she does it. Same. All those flips <laughs> and tricks and twists. Right. But. Caitlin definitely has a lot more tins in her future as well, and congratulations to you, Kate. Moving on to the floor exercise, Caitlin kept the ball rolling and kept her enthusiasm going and got a 9.925. So Caitlin came out with a win on beam and floor. Congratulations, T. Kate. Holly, Kate, you know what I've noticed in the past couple of days? What? So on my Facebook, <laughs> I've been seeing lots of videos, and I oh saw my. yours two days ago. It had two million views. I think you're slowly going viral. Yeah, I think. I I looked at it because someone told me that I was all over the internet. Yeah, yeah. And I checked it like yesterday, and it had like 3.4 million or something. That's, I don't know. It's crazy. So crazy. Cool. So thank you, fans, for oh <laughs> liking my, my video. I appreciate it. I just want Beyonce. Like if you, <laughs> like if I ever saw you, I'd probably faint. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> my birthday's next Wednesday. So. <laughs> I'll be blowing out my candles yeah, strategically. Be a perfect gift. <laughs> Nick, what were some of your personal highlights from the meet? A personal highlight for me was Mercedes coming in and exhibitioning on bars and beam. 
That girl has been working so hard in the gym, and so for her to come out and have such a good time and to perform so well, I was just super proud of her. Saves, we're so proud of you. That was an incredible meet for you, and you, we know you've been working so hard, so good job. Really, really good job. So aside from the meet, Mick, let's get to know you a little better. So we know you're from Canada. Yes. What was the biggest change, I guess, from freshman to senior year being so far away from home? I think I just got better at being away from home. My freshman year, I was homesick so much. You guys know. <laughs> I, I love my home and I love my family a lot. And so it was really hard for me to be away from them. And I think especially because I'm the baby of the family. But now I, I really like having uh, my own life here. But I'm super excited because my family's coming for senior meet. And it's going to be the first time that they've ever seen me compete in poly. Oh, <laughs> are you tearing up? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> my brother was at the meet. My brother was at this meet too, and he told me that he nearly cried when I did my beam routine. So oh, like, <laughs> guys, we're a tight knit family. <laughs> How are you tearing up too? Well, that's well part I'm actually my eye. It's just really bad. <laughs> <laughs> like oh yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> But like, that's I'm, like I'm really happy that, that's for like you. Super yeah. emotional. Because, because you have been a lot, really homesick. I mean, freshman year was really hard for you. A rough year. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it. It actually does make me emotional knowing like how much you've grown like in the past four years. I have to say, your confidence is out of this <laughs> world. Oh my gosh, Mick has probably the most confidence on the team, but I have no idea how you maintain it throughout the whole season. Like even if you're injured, your, your confidence is always there. I think it's just a sense of positivity for me. And I've, when it comes to beam, I just remind myself that like I've been doing the same routine for a really long time and the mm -hmm. skills I've been doing for over 10 years. So it's really easy for me. And I just enjoy it so much that it's really, I don't feel the pressure anymore. It's, it's more fun for me. I just have fun with it. That's great. It's good for your senior year. <laughs> yeah. One thing that you were extremely excited about this year was your floor team. Can yeah. you talk a little bit more about that? Um, okay, I'm super excited about my floor team because I have been waiting for two years for this music. <laughs> <laughs> it's a medley of a bunch of rock music that's like my favorite songs. And my brother spent hours, he spent so like an entire day mixing this music for me and making it perfect and he's been so patient. It completely embodies your whole personality. <laughs> I think when she had this in her floor routine, then this felt I'm throwing it in. Okay, she's throwing it in. <laughs> but we always call her rock wait, wait rock That's chick rock mix. Chick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Rock chick mix. <laughs> Check out another episode of Miked Up to see the Bruins rock it out behind the scenes. We got Pang Pang doing warm up right now with her space buns. I love the space buns. You know, I brought this up to Miss Val at the beginning of the season and she told me I couldn't do it. I'm gonna do it. I almost did it, but my hair is not thick enough. I'm gonna do it. Left foot! Yeah! yeah! Oh, wait, my jacket. What is Why is it not fitting? <laughs> What did I do? Got it. When a jacket's hard to put on. Do the scale! Come on! Do the scale! Oh my god, Yeah! Ten! Yeah! Oh! What? Oh my gosh, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm shook. I'm gonna go talk to them. I'm a I'm a I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. It is so packed in here. It's I can barely hear myself think, but it's awesome. And my voice is losing because when you have to talk normal, you have to scream because it's so loud in here. Don't oh, cry, so man. Let's go. Since I didn't give you a 10 on bars, you gotta get a 10 on beam now. All right? I was gonna put in an inquiry. <laughs> inquiry! Let me see the paper. What do you see? What did you see wrong? Deanna, I'm joining your acapella group. Wait, I can be blocked too, right? Okay. What a dab of ranch. 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 She's getting that extra oblique work in her routine, just like playing. And then she did like she did like a forward playing. She's just putting more work for her. You might as well kill two birds with one stone, right? Floor routine and abs again. I respect it.
mic on me. Oh, you do? Kyla, how do you think your day went? It went good. Wait, what are, where is she? Oh, hey. I just, oh, they, we have like this segment on um, like our, we do this thing and they record and so, hey, this is Mariah. She goes to Berkeley. How fun were those mic'd up videos? I literally like replay them all the time on Broom Banter <laughs> really? and I'm just like, cause they make me laugh. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mick, for being on the show. Like, you're amazing. Aw, thanks, Hallie. Thank you for having me. Well, Bruin fans, next week is going to be very emotional because your seniors are graduating. So make sure you come to the senior meet March 12th on Sunday. And if you can't be there, it'll be on Pac-12 Networks. And Michaela, for your final senior Broom Banter interview, <laughs> Will you do the honors of doing Bruin Bitter? Just on my own? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so catch us next time on.